this blender, um, the new blender, I think it's 2.8, um, but the first thing you want to do is open up Roblox Studio, um, and then click new and make a new game, and click base light. Now go to view, and then make your explore and properties and toolbox is checked off. And then X out of this, and this, and this. Now that you have that, you can expand this, and on models, click models, and go to plugins, and search for the old character. It should be the first one, and you can install it. You don't need the one that costs Robux, but once you install that, um, you can go to plugins at the top, and then click on the plugin, and type in your Roblox's name or whoever you want to um, make the GFX for, or whoever you want to add, and then make sure spawn at origin is checked off, and click spawn R6. a little hard for me to move around because I don't I just got this new computer and I don't have a um, mouse yet so it's gonna be a little hard for me to move around but I'll be able to make it work and in Explorer click on your um, character click on the arrow go to head click on that arrow and go to face and then click on models go to images and search for any face you want this is this step is optional And then click this right here, make sure this is selected, and it'll show you what is PNG and what is not. And then you're going to want to right click on one of the faces and click copy asset URL. And then in properties of the face, paste, um, paste it, um, paste the URL in there. And once you're done with that, right click on your username and click on export selection. And save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it in a folder called OBJs. Um, and I'm going to save it. And then just save it as whatever you want. Once you have that, um, you can clear this out and then go to models. And search for a model you want. Um, uh, there are a lot of talented GFX art, I mean model artists out there that I recommend checking out. There are ones like Fairy Jewel and Malanique, and you can, um, actually, you can find videos that have very, that say, like, their favorite, um, artists that build models. But to find the models by the artist, you want to click here and search for the user you want. I'm going to, um, use Fairy Jewel. And then click on the username and click apply. And they should have some models and you can look through them and drag them onto your base plate and find ones that you like. Um, I'm going to be using this one. Then in the model and explore, right click on it and click export selection. And save it wherever you want. Once you have saved it, open up Blender. Um, the download link is in the description. Once you've opened up Blender, you can X out of this. And there's a square here. Click X on your keyboard to delete it. And then um, click on File. 
and click open and then import the rig. The download link is in the description. Now that you've opened your rig, um, you can move around. To move is shift and the key under escape right next to one, hold shift and that key to, to start moving. And to move is WASD. And you can move around with your trackpad or your mouse. I'm gonna be using the trackpad because as I said, I don't have a mouse that can go with it. Um, I have a mouse that doesn't plug into this. So I'll have to get something to plug it in. But once you have this, you can kind of like drag and select the head and then click X to delete the head and like delete all this extra stuff. It's left click to select things, by the way. And you can hold shift to select more things at once or you can just like kind of drag, hold down left and move with the right part of your trackpad or mouse um, to select more things at once or just hold shift. And you have this thing on the bottom. You're just going to drag this up. Make sure you're selecting a limb of the rig. And then click here and go to Shader Editor. And then you can click this. Um, there are two texture boxes. There's one up here, but you want the one on the bottom. And then click on the file icon and open up your texture. And then um, once you click open image once you've selected it and then click on this and click on timeline and then you can drag that back down and then go to file import wavefront obj and import your model i mean your character and then click geometry here and click on split by group and and um, uncheck split by object and then click import obj You can hold down shift to move faster. Once you've imported it, so um, delete everything but the head and the accessories. And then you can like drag to select it all. Right click on it. If I can. And then in click set origin and then click geometry to origin. It'll make it a lot easier to move around. And move around to the back of it and then click on rotate and then you can rotate the head um, and you can move it and then position it onto the body so now you have this you're going to want to go to file import wavefront obj and import your model Once you've imported it, drag to select your character and then use rotate and move tools over here to move it into the model. Once you've moved it into your model, you can begin posing it. I want my character to sit in this chair over here. So I'll rotate it and then position the limbs. Using a rig is different than not using a rig. It makes it a lot easier to position things. You can make it without a rig, but I think making it with a rig is a lot easier. Um, there are all these outlines over here and stuff like that. You can click on them. And I'm I wanna move both of the legs at once. So I'm gonna click on this here. And then I'm gonna make sure I'm in pose mode over here. If I'm in object mode, I wanna click on here and change it to pose mode. And you can play around, find out what moves what, but just don't click on the actual limbs. Click on what's like the circles around it to actually bend it. And you can rotate them. And that with the newest versions of Blender, um, the limbs don't really curve that well, but once you're done, it will actually curve well and it won't just be kind of blocky. Once you have it positioned how you want, 
Um, you can move it wherever you want, or you can just position it um, where you, like, I could have just positioned it here, but I find it easier to position it somewhere else because I think it gives more room. And we can hold shift to select more. Now, um, I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to move my character. But I couldn't find you There were footsteps coming on the hallway But when I turned around, it wasn't you I was looking at myself, I couldn't see my face But deep down I knew it was true Shadows handed me a question If I ever lost you, what would I do? What would I do? Once you've positioned your character and moved around anything or deleted anything that you didn't want in your GFX, um, I'm just going to delete this box. You can then click on the world icon over here and click on ambient occlusion. And then you've clicked ambient occlusion, go to this icon here. And we're going to be making an animation, so we can click on FFmpeg video and change it to AviJPEG. We're going to click on this, and we're going to save a location for it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And click Accept. Now, make sure we're in object mode. Click Add in camera. Then, click on the camera icon right here. And we can change the resolution um, by going here. And I'm going to be changing it to 1280 by 720. And now we can move the camera the same way we moved around. And position it to where you want it to start. Um, I want to add color in the background, so I'm going to go to the world icon and click on color. And I'm going to turn it up and then click and then like choose a color here. Now I'm going to go to view, click, um, hover over cameras and click active camera. Or actually click this right here. And um, select what you want to move. And I want the camera to move, so I'm going to select the camera. Click I on your keyboard and click um, location, rotation, and scale, and move this forward a few frames, and then um, move move where, what you want, and I want the camera to zoom in, so um, I'm just going to have it zoom in, I'm going to click I again, in location, rotation, and scale, and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to click uh, if you want something to move at the same time, you have to click the object you want to move. And then at the beginning frame, click I, location, and rotation. And then you can go back to the frame um, that you were at. Then you can play it back. Once you want it, um, I want to move the arm and the lipstick, so I'm going to um, click the arm, and I'm going to make it go up, and um, I'm going to make it go up, and then I'm going to make the lipstick, um, I'm going to make the lipstick move as well. <laughs> location and rotation and i'm also gonna select the limb that i moved i forgot to add a location rotation to that click i location rotation and scale and then bring it forward a few frames and you can exit out of the camera um, to move it'll probably make it easier and I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to move this here and back. I'm going to add a lock rot, I mean a location, rotation, and scale. And I'm going to move 
the lipstick again. Then I'm going to add a location, rotation, and scale. You can play back your intro. And also, you have to also add a location rotation at the beginning to um, what you want to move at the same time as well, which I forgot to do, so. Um, but this is just um, a tutorial, so I'm going to keep it at that. And you can change the end. I'm going to change it to, I'm going to make the end 20 frames because that's how long it lasted. And then you're going to want to click render and click render animation. And it's going to render by um, frames. So the first frame and then the next. And then once it's done rendering, you click image, save as. And while it's rendering, you won't be able to do it. But once it's done, you can select the file that you saved and you'll have the animation.